here we go. So here we can see, uh, at least on my stream, that um, the slightly friendlier UI um, showing you what ships are where. Double bends on each team, uh, one going for double Kutuzov against one Kutuzov, double Atigo versus one Atigo, and then it's uh, North Carolina, North Carolina, Bismarck, identical battleships. The really only difference is that it's a New Orleans for the Shikaku and a Kutuzov for Atago. So the teams are relatively balanced in that sense, except from the shockingly difference of the carrier. Indeed, and I think they, they want to... Sorry? So I think they want to be using that uh, New Orleans able in this gameplay, especially I think they're kind of happy to see the double Kutus of double Benson because New Orleans pretty much straight up counters that smoke play that they are probably hoping to enact. Well, as again, I keep telling the screen, we need to kill ourselves because we're in carry so we can get up to observer mode. So just bear with us for the first 60 seconds here. Well, all right, so you check in the disposition ABC, right? Uh, do you favor east or west here? Uh, the teams get into position. I think taking C is a bit easier from uh, from the east side because from the you have so much cover from the east side, so many okay, islands to right. hide behind, and it's easier to disengage on that side as well. I think we can see. No, no, there actually is split. There's no guaranteed like single path of doing. Some team members from um, uh, Wargame, well, Pay to Win, are going uh, Bravo, or at least looks they're probing Bravo, where other ones are uh, definitely moving up to Alpha. Yeah, also it looks like they're pushing very hard into B. I think part of their game plan is to secure B as quickly as possible. Yes, they are pushing straight in. Absolutely no hesitation. I gave myself four fires, so I'm quite impressed. Yeah, I still managed to kill myself quickly. I'm impressed by the Ruyu tactics. Clearly better than running the Hosha. You kill yourself okay, faster. Okay, here we go. Let's have a look. Uh, scouting going off from the uh, pay-to-win uh, carriers. Dive bombers drop their payload. They're watching yeah. for Bravo uh, Alpha. They're going to find both torpedo these Bensons, I think. Yep, sending a torpedo bomber down to Charlie. Um, yep. So the Spence in the center is spotted, and now the um, can see more or less the entire team. Oh, how much can you see from the pay to win side? Only the Bismarck. They have no vision whatsoever. And this is, of course, the huge disadvantage of running this no carrier setup, is that you completely lack vision. You only see what the Benson scout, and because of the Kutuzov Kutuz Benson, Benson setup, they're obviously going to be smoking themselves up all the time. So this is the question. Can Osset overcome this huge uh, vision disadvantage? Right, because the Shikaku, well, he doesn't have anything to deal with. There's absolutely no reason why he can't just park bombers at maximum range. And if he micros all day long, he doesn't have to fighter manage in that type of sense. So he's got essentially five planes that can scout and hold the torpedo bombers back for hitting later on. True, but also you got to notice here that, of course, uh, uh, for Wargaming war Pay to Win, the Shikaku is running three fighters, aka air superiority spec. So he basically a missed opportunity and his strike Keep attempt was shot down instantly. Well, I mean, if you don't know, this is what they do, but if they take it on board that the enemy team all definitely doesn't go with carriers, next game you would shift back to 2-2. In, two two, indeed, right? that's the thing that do they dare to, because uh, in Omni we even went strike Lexington one game, and they still didn't <laughs> run carrier, and we just absolutely dominated that game, so the question is, will Wargaming pay to win dare to make the same kind of play, where they just go full-on strikes strike setup? Well, um, Bravo taken for the central group of um, Isid. Indeed, uh, they haven't. Re honestly, Asset haven't really lost any HP at all, and they do have the capture advantage. So, okay. so far, there's been no setbacks with the no carrier setup. Right, so the big difference here in the team composition right now is the fact that this, the, ignoring the side differences, your team is all in one big blob more or less whereas the team from pay to win they're essentially split evenly between north and south they've just taken alpha they're taking charlie uh the bensons are on the north and the south along with the battleships and supporting cruisers so let me turn down the bullet it can go it. either way basically you know your team can crush uh, one part of the fleet and get all their guns to bay, in the, at the same time uh, they can be harassed on both sides honestly what i think they're doing they have spotted the north carolina and the otago and the smoke up north I think what Asset is doing now is they're planning to rush the entire force up north and cap A at the same time. And I think if uh, the fleet up north doesn't disengage quickly enough, they're uh, going to we'll be caught here. North 
actually running away though, so it's not like he's in a nose-on position where he can't yeah. escape. He but he's hitting a lot of damage doing that. But he should be able to get in cover behind the island. Actually, I don't know, they're charging full speed after him. This is what I meant though, that they're trying to push their advantage as quickly as possible because they know that if the game goes on for a long time, the carrier will become well, an... North Carolina, Bismarck, Kutuzov, Benson, and another Kutuzov are all south in Charlie and they can't fight. They can't Indeed. shoot too far away, so they're... they're, they're... Ooh, this North Carolina is being... Oh, he's gonna die. He needs to be smoked up, but I think they already used their smoke. Well, Torps coming into delay. I might be able to get round the island. I don't think he's dead yet. Bismarck's seen the Torps with Tider, but I don't think he can dodge them. There's gonna be some definitive impacts here. At least here. one, maybe two. One on the nose. There's gonna be another on the nose. He's half health. I mean, the same damage he's done to North Carolina, now the Bismarck is taken because of those torps. North Carolina found reprieve behind the island. He realized he couldn't make the full escape. The question is, though, how will he make it out from here? Because they're definitely going to chase him down. There's no way they're going to let him well, just sit here. Up, and the Benson isn't staying to deny the cat by saying hiding in the north of A. So they're going to grab the point. But at the same time, they've abandoned the, the Bravo cat. So the force from pay to win is going to come up from behind them. Well, check the North Carolina struggling at the back, the Malhadras. He's been clipped by a couple of shots. Indeed, but they have the smoke to cover the retreat. The question is though, do the points they gain by capping B offset the points they're going to lose from losing oh, those manas? Oh, a Tago! Oh, he turned in just in time. Wow, 1k, 2k. Oh, oh my lord, this Atago he's running the HP buff. I'm not even joking. 4,043k HP. He's running the HP buff on his Atago. I mean, this Enkel in the north, he can't escape. And he's, he's stuck. And the Benz might be able to drop him from the rear. No, he's not. He's, he's doing a torque wave from the nose, but this Enkel's reversing. The whole team is surrounding this island. I think he just needs to stall for as long as possible, but he's pretty much dead. They are stealth firing. Uh, the Benson up here is stealth firing Kanti, I think. Yeah, it's a Benson stealth firing him, and he's been set on fire, and I. Do not know if he has repair after those torpedoes. Probably not. The entire southern side of the team now can't even see. Um, I see. The, the, the pay to win. Ah, oh, there you go. He goes down now. And then. Really big uh, crit uh, from the Bismarck. So they're down a battleship now. But they, still... they have no caps. They don't even have A yet. Uh, that's true. That's true. The attack is going to stay behind. So point wise. Um, they're still actually technically due, due to the sinking of the battleship. But it will very quickly fall away it's really a question of um can they keep up the attack keep the sight up and not get hit by running away torps oh but these torps on Conti are massive i think oh he got clipped by two and he must does he have repair he does have repair that was very lucky if they manage to secure this benson then it's going to be pretty huge for them but I think one of the bigger issues of this map is the fact that it's a very, very large map. And this kind of constant aggression is kind of hard to play on these huge maps well, where the enemy can just they're flee. They're oh. about to lose one of the Bensons, the General Ocean. Oh! Kind of oh. Good but aim. If I was the carrier, I would definitely try and bomb um, the uh, attacking uh, destroyer, because the destroyer is what's scouting them. Yeah, honestly, I might have gone for the attack who was. They had only one attack capping there. If he could have delayed the cap, they would have gained such a point lead. But so far. It's trying to get 18 kilometer hits on the wounded Bismarck. It's not a bad idea because they know he's used his repair. All, all they need is like two lucky fires and Kanti is dead. But okay, Kanti is surviving so far and they have regrouping now. I think they're gonna push. My guess would be a pushing down into B afterwards. I think uh, so. The all right. So from the point of view of pay to win, most of their ships have now stopped on the southern side of Bravo and are just waiting to see what happens from the seat point of view. And uh, they have a really good positional advantage, I feel, because if they want to push into B, they basically have to push through bottlenecks. Either they have to push through on basically VG's side of the map, or they have to push through the middle bottleneck. And either way, they're gonna have to funnel. Is the Kutuzov from pay to win He's firing, he's exposing himself, so he's the only guy that the enemy team I presumably can see? Yes, but at this range and with 31k HP, as long as he doesn't give any foolish broadsides, he should be just fine. Because he has so much time to dodge the shells at that distance, he should be fine. The question is here, they have seen uh, the setup that is, or the fleet that is sitting up in the middle of B. Question is, what are us going to do now? Because basically, time works against them. If they only have one cap and the enemy has two, time will constantly work against them. The lead they generated by the kills is already evaporating. It's almost even again.
Oh, excuse me one second. Just a quick attempt to fix an issue. There we go. Oh, he just took a really big crit on the on his backside. He's down to 15k now. Oh, it looks like Asset are making their move though. They're going to push through the base. Oh, we have Bimson who's smoking up in front of them, and it looks like they're going to push down this flank. Meanwhile, they have a North Carolina setting up in A to be able to flank the fleet at B. We see that, but the fact is the central team also sees that. The entire team is spotted for uh, Peter Wynn's point of view. And the Kutuzov's just uh, smoked up himself. Oh, they're focusing so Conte, I think. Team, and they can, they can see what the enemy can. I'm surprised there's no um, carriers spotting these DDs that are pushing in. Just one carrier, a few planes up here just constantly spotting these DDs would make smoking up for the fleet so much harder. See Ridgesan, right, and these North Carolinas pushing down the central into Bravo. I question this because he's taking the fire of all the ships and now it's a role reversal. The uh, sea guys can't get their guns to bear. Oh, and he has no support. Yeah. I thought I thought he was going to park behind the island and just wait for his team to push in, but he pushed in too deep, I think. Now he has to reverse. So he's, he's not going to take a lot of AP damage, but... But fires, fires, fires. I'm surprised the battleships are shooting AP and not HE, I think. They, sh they should definitely be going for the fires at this point. That's one fire on. Yeah, uh, where's the carrier, though? The carrier should have seen that wait, this guy was isolated. I saw the Benson very briefly. Uh, yep, we can see the Benson again. So Buzz Light is lit up for the uh, Kudasov. Kudasov's down to 11k in his own smoke. He's actually quite isolated, the Kudasov. So if he, if he learns out of his smoke and he gets spotted, oh. he just needs to see stealth though, because Kudasov's stealth is 11.1 kilometers. So long as the planes are over the Benson, you know, the, he can't approach undetected. Oh, I don't like this, these bombers. They shouldn't be going this way. They should have gone the other side. They're going. He's going right into the clumped up ships. He's going to lose planes. He can't, I mean, go for the Benson. Questionable at best. Be Benson has his own AA as well. Oh, Kutuzov has just turned up from a seat and he's going to smoke up the North Carolinas down there to 26k. But still, we can still see the North Carolina yet though. It's yeah, but look at the scores, look at the scores. They, in this brief time, they've already gone up to almost 700 points. Uh, they need to make the push right That's now. the thing, they, they can't sit around. Basically, they're pushed into A while it gave them an advantage. They spent too much time re-sorting re themselves and reorganizing and they basically lost the advantage they gained. And uh, now time is working very harshly against them. They have to make a push now. And the thing is, all three of their battleships are pretty heavily wounded. I mean, you know, they're down to half health or less, right? This is the Asit team. Yeah, and Bus Light is smoking up the fleet again, but they're not using it to push. They're just smoked up. Where's the push? Where's the push? They must say the time is working against them. Kutuzov on the pay to win side is now down to 6.2k. If I'm him, I just stealth up and just don't fire. Yeah, the Bismarck is in the open, Yoshi. He's being focused a bit. Run out. Now, the fact is, that there's a Benson and a Kuzov here, they could do a fresh smoke, I guess. The North Carolina reached Sun, he, he got dropped down to 14k, but he's healing up now, his heal came up. The Bismarck is, well, he's, he's turning away from broadside. Is this the push happening now? Yes. Yeah, it looks like the push is happening now. Oh, they see. Are they, I think they were waiting for the smoke to vanish down at B before they made their push. They need to score kills, though. That's the thing. They have to score kills to stem this bleeding. Well, it's it's one weak cruiser kill. It's one light cruiser from the Kutsov, you know, to to end all. And the destroyers, however, or sorry, destroyer singular for uh, pay to win. He's got a lot of work to do here because it, the torps are one that kind of makes the difference. And what's got me is the one attackal, right? He's down to, he's got like 34k HP, but he's miles away next to the Kutuzov. He's not in a position where he can use Oh yeah, I see, Phylox is, he can't, he can barely even fire from there. I'm oh, surprised he's there. Oh, I missed it? What happened there? That, well, he just got, he was broadsiding and he got smashed, the Kutuzov. Uh... And he got, all the, of your team could see him and he absolutely got railed. And the fact is, the push is happening and the team knew the push was happening. This is the, Bismarck is the focus target for... Uh... Pay to win now though. Mm. He's down to 8k and fire, but Mott's the advantage of having both their DDs alive is showing for Asad now because they are smoking up. Is that the attack oh! and the Benson are not in a position to torp this Massive, massive hit on Kingpin. Massive hit. Half his HP gone in one volley. He gave broadside in the North Carolina and he was instantly punished. And now he's being focused down. He can't get into the smoke in time, or can he? I don't know if he has a repair up. 
Uh, we can't see Richardson because Richardson's nose on and reversing. And there's a torque waving coming from the end. Oh, attack. Conti might go down. Conti is burning. He's 2k HP and burning. 1.8k, 1.3, 900, 500, 151. Oh, he is down. They have almost 900 points now. What? The Kutuzov showed himself? Why would he do that? This is very risky, what Dehehe is doing. But, and the attacker is also pushing in. Uh, he's trying to get the kill on the um, the Kutuzov that's crippled down at one point. Yes, but the Kutuzov shouldn't have showed himself. He's too squishy at that, that HP. Oh, I think Beavers is going to get the kill. 370! The next volley might kill him. He's whether or not this attacker gets punished for the push. And, now and that's a kill. So it's still in the favor, slightly of pay to win. But the yeah. warp waves are, are chasing down the battleships in the center and they're being pressured on all sides. And the, and the issue is they're within B now, so they stop the points gain from B. As long as they're contesting the point, uh, pay to win is yeah, no longer gaining long the long points. And they're down on ships. This is the other crucial point. The loss of the two ships early on is going to really hurt them. And Kingpin has to flee the smoke and he's being highly focused now. Oh, he's burning, he's burning heavily. Full focus from everyone on him, he's obviously a focused target. Yeah, he used his repair now, this is his last ditch. Oh! oh! New Orleans, what happened there? He just absolutely smashed him with the Citadel. On the Indeed, that was a long range Citadel smash as well. Question if this Kingpin can survive. 915 he's points. He's going up. The Benson's coming close, he might have a, an additional smoke ready for him. That's the Gallagher Benson uh, for uh, pay to win. Oh, the heal on the Kingpin doing so much work here. The heal ran out now. The question is, will he get set on fire or not? He's been very lucky so far. Oh, and he gets smoked up! So lucky to not get a fire on him! He's still got a single capture point. They're up 930 points. One kill will do it, or just surviving. Now, the North Carolina should survive in the smoke. Uh, the torps probably won't be ready in time. But oh, oh, Benson gets hit by a torp! That was a huge misplay, that was a widespread torp! The secondaries on the Bismarck were lighting up, they don't have sight in the Benson right now, that's the carrier's job, light up- Oh no, 700 HP! He's dead, they have 972 points! That misplay by the Benson eating the torp might turn this entire game! They just need to survive now? They, they will gain the points in like half a minute if he just survives? Uh, it's critical. The fact is that the North Carolina just doesn't show where he is, and if anything, and, he can fire and- Oh, he might- Bismarck might kill that Targo. There's two- both the Targos are under threat right now from both the different battleships. So is the Bismarck though, he's being focused by them all. 990 points! He's gonna survive. Is the Torps gonna hit the North Carolina? Uh, it, no. The first wave won't, the second wave will. 996! Are they really gonna win this oh, out? The Torps will hit the North Carolina in about 4 seconds. Oh, 1000 points! <laughs> I don't believe it, they managed to endure, they slowed them down and endured long enough. Oh, what a fantastic first game. Oh my god, I can't believe they managed to endure that fight. A lot of plane kills from the North Carolinas. No, yeah, the North Carolinas did so much work. Obviously no plane kills on the enemy team side, uh, a few from the scouts and that's about it. Um... Only three kills from Wargaming pay to win, but they still won the game, even though they lost uh, more ships. <laughs> That's impressive. Right? If, if Asset hadn't spent so much time uh, up at A, they would, would have been able to win that game, I think. But because of how much time they spent... Expire, right? Yeah, exactly. They had to wait for the B-Smoke to expire, but I feel like they, they waited too long. I understand they were hesitant to take the risk, but... Uh, they waited so long that uh, the, they basically let the two cap advantage become such a huge deal. The point, right? Exactly. So um, that that is round one. So round two, we are going.